something happens. Something happens when I'm in your name, Jesus. Something special. Something special. Magnify the God of our circumstance. 
How many know I'm telling the truth? We need to lift his name up. If you want to make the devil angry, if you want to throw him off his game, you need to find yourself praising God. You need to be opening up your mouth and thanking God. Hey, praise the name of Jesus. Blessing his name. Oh, he's a worthy God. Sometimes you ought to tell him how worthy he is. God, you're a worthy God. You're an awesome God. I was talking to someone on this week, and they were saying they, they've been telling the, the, the people that they pastor, don't just call him a good God, call him an awesome God. I keep trying to tell you that awesome is not for everybody else. That awesome is not for your car. That awesome is not for your job. That awesome is not for your home. That awesome is not for your education or who you think you know. That awesome belongs to God. God is an awesome God. How many know he's an awesome God? He's, he's a God that can bring you out. He's a God that can strengthen you. He's a God that can encourage you. They ain't all of these things were more than a conqueror because we got God. Because God is on my side, I've got healing on my side. Because God is on my side, I've got deliverance on my side. I've got help on my side. How many know you got help on the Help is not only on the way. Help is here right now. Tell somebody, my help is here right now. I'm not waiting on my help. I'm not anticipating my help. My help is here right now. Tell them my help is here right now. And Lord, I thank you for my help right now. I thank you for my strength right now. I thank you for my healing. I'm not here to preach, but I'm here to just, you know what, I'm here to magnify Jesus. God has been too good for us to sit and look at each other, hey, glory God, like we ought to be suing God for child support. God's been a father above all fathers. He's been right there when folk were trying their best to undermine and take you down. God was right there. I need to tell you when the, when the doctor said it wasn't going to happen, God turned it around. Set up for a miracle. Set 
and she's going to speak to us today. Amen. All I did was encourage you. Amen. I bring no business. I bring no text for the Lily Bar. That's what they told me, so I'm going to go back to Amen. Amen. So uh, I mean, tell somebody God is good. We thank God for all mothers. We celebrate all. I mean, mothers here. Stand to get all the mothers. You got children. Hey, you got children. Amen. You have children. Had children. You, you nurture children. You help children. You know, you come on, let's celebrate these mothers who are here. God bless them all. Amen. God bless you. You have a seat. Praise God for you and all that the Lord has blessed you to do in the lives of not only your children, but those who you've brought in as children to help and develop. We thank God for today. I'm going to actually stand. Mother Lily Mark is going to come, and she's going to give us the word on today. Amen. What the Lord has to say today. Amen. Let's stand and receive her as she comes. With the word of the Lord. Come on, clap your hands and thank God for it. Come on, I know you can do that. Man. Come on, let's celebrate. I was telling the pastor to go ahead because he went over some of the things I had written down. I didn't have to do any of this. But I thank God uh, to be here today. And I thank God to be a mother, a grandmother, and all those kinds of mothers. And I really appreciate that. And this is the day that is set aside for mothers. And the mother's, mother is a great calling in life. It's, it's very important. And it takes more to be a mother than just go out to Vista and have a baby. All right. All right. <laughs> It's a job. It's a job for like 40 years. <laughs> My sister used to tell me, I'm sorry, give it on to the pastor, uh, to Pastor Markham, Lady Markham, and to all the saints of God. I'm truly happy to be here today. And I want to say I enjoyed everything because some of the stuff that I have, you have to praise God through your way. I, may, I might go every which way, but I will be on the word. But I want to tell you this first. Uh, two weeks ago, we had a power surge. On that weekend, it was raining and cold and, and freezing. And once your bricks get cold, your house is cold. That big power surge blew out lights, telephones, and, and things. Just everything just was terrible. Comrade, they, it was doing something. So I started to complain that I was cold and I had no heat. I thought about the people in Nepal. I said, I still know where my building is. I still, and I said, girl, get over yourself and get under some more cup. <laughs> get over yourself. I started thinking, Jesus. I said, I know where my bank is. I know where my house is. I have my right mind. Encouraged 
and to um, I want to get that back out of my and to be encouraged and being a mother, like I'm saying, it's a 24 seven and the rest of your life. Some people say, why you get up so early? I started getting up early about 40 years ago, and I just keep doing it. Because I can, I can tell you some things. I, might, I was going to speak on broken but not defeated. I might not get to it. But that's what I was going to speak on. Broken but not defeated. That was what I was going to speak on. But I'm telling you, uh, when uh, you, you're broken, I know 38 years ago, I was really broken. And you know when your husband is, is doing, okay ladies, I want to say, if you have a husband, I'm a man advocate, you all know that. I'm a black man advocate. Don't care the first, they know it all over, I'm with the men. So get over yourself. Because they're the first, uh, you know, last high in the first five. They are always downtrodden. Ladies, if you got a good man, just make him your king. And if you're looking for a man and you don't think you can do that, leave the man alone. Okay? And because they are your little G-O-D. I'm telling you, mothers, young women, when you get married, your husband is the head of the house. Is that you hear that? He is your head. Make no decisions without your husband. If you can't do that, and ladies, if you treat them right, you can get anything you want. Treat them right. Treat them right. But anyway, and uh, you set a standard in your home and a commitment and stick to that no matter what the, the naysayers. This is your house. I know when they were, when my uh, husband died, the uh, pastor was 12 and Quince was 14, the twins was three months. I don't know if he remembered, but when we came home, that's broken, y'all, but I wasn't defeated. When we came home from the grave, you know, people leave, say, call me if you need it, you'll never hear from them. But anyway, um, oh yeah, they, oh girl, you call me if you need me, and you know I wasn't going to call them. But anyway. When I got there, I don't know if the pastor remembered, I told them then, only thing that changed in this house, your father is dead. That's it, point blank. Because you are not going to rule this house. No. And I was a, a smaller than I am now, but they knew what time it was. And you got to take a stand, mothers, young mothers that have children coming on. You got to take a stand and stay with it. Because people even at work say, why do you have those young men coming home and coming in the house? And I, you know, I told them, you know, you take care of your business and I'll take care of mine. And I didn't know that if you hang on the street, you got to become a game banger. You know, you got to declare yourself. So mothers, Take a stand. I don't care what Luke Dooney is doing. This is your house. Yeah. You do that. Yeah. Okay? So mothers, let's, let's be mothers. You all got a great um, responsibility. So we want to do that. We want to do that because we, he just told you, we're more than a conqueror. We are more than a conqueror. And mothers, he said, and, and mothers, and in all our ways, I put mothers there, in all your ways, acknowledge Jesus, and he will direct your paths. Amen. So I'm not going to go over everything I have written, because the past have really preached. And, and I was thinking about the Shulamite woman. The Shulamite woman. He really preached. So if you didn't get your dance on, uh, you have to get it tonight. So anyway, you remember the Shulamite woman, she was uh, minding her own business, but Elijah, they would come by every, you know, so often, and, and she told her husband, she didn't go build a house, uh, go back to me, and oh, you know, get excited over, the, you know, and she said, we, we should make the man of God a little house, and uh, I don't know if they were uh, color or not, because, you know, we, we stand you. But anyway, they made, I'm just being real, y'all. This is Mother's Day. So she said, he said, okay, honey, I'm paraphrasing. Honey, yeah, that's a good idea. 
So they made the man of God a house, a room, a room and put a all fixed up behind those in those days. And so when he would come by, he just had his own room. He said, oh, she been so nice to me. What can I do to her for her? And so um, her sister servant, Jehazi, I said, well, she doesn't have a child. So he called in, what do you want? She said, well, you know, and, oh, I have everything. I don't need anything. So he said, by this time, you, when I come back, you'll have a child. So she had the child, and then one day the child got sick, and my head, my head, and then what did the father say? Go, go take him to his mother. <laughs> take him to his mother. And so his mother took him in, and then it was the bottom line, he died. But she told her husband, said, have to make the, the sale of the horse. And I, I got to go. And then she said, don't stop. Go for it. She went and they said, well, what's wrong? She said, all is well. She was broken but not defeated. The child had died. She was broken. This is broken. Your child had died. You didn't have but one child. And then so he's gone. And she went she, and he said, well, all is well. She knew. And as that defense was saying, she knew that God was able. And so she went, and the bottom line is the part he was brought back to life. So we can't give up on our dead situation. Because Christ died on the cross. He said, it's finished. He didn't say, I'm finished. So he's still working. He's still working. So, uh, and uh, another woman, uh, she's, a, she's an unnamed woman, a certain woman, that uh, her husband had died. So you can put your name there. And you know that's broken. All of you that have lost husbands, you know that's a broken situation. So if, if they've broken your husband's dead, you have no money, and the creditors at your door, I want my money. And that's like creditors are, so you better stay out of debt. Because they don't care who's dead, okay? And that's the sideline. So anyway, the prophet told her, see, it's good to follow the man of God leading to go get pots and as many as you can find and if she had gotten more she would have had more but she went and got pots and he said go and shut the door fill them up and she was able to pay her debt yeah. and I'm telling you all trust in God yeah. God is so good God is so good I mean I get stuff coming in and coming out and I got so many children I didn't have yeah. What I've got? And most of my sons are pastors. And I stopped by one son church today and he blessed me real good. And so, let me tell you, I got children all over and my other son sent me flowers from Alabama this morning. They're over here. And so, uh, God is so good. But let me get back to this. I told the lady down the street, she was complaining, oh, they're going to cut Social Security, they're going to cut this. I said, let me tell you something. I am not worried because the God I serve can go over to McDonald's and get a wrap sandwich and bring it to my house. That's the kind of God I serve. And he takes real good care of me because, I mean, God is just good, you all. He is so good. I mean, just the other day, somebody gave me two soups. That's God. Because I believe in taking care of God's business. Don't I be caboose? I take care of God's business, and God take care of mine. Don't, women, don't be stingy with your money. Give and give your money to God, not Macy's. If you give your God to give your money more to God, God will bless you with something for Macy's. He will. Because we know that this elevator could, is, is, you know, women of God, if we get together, like we were talking in Sunday school, the body of Christ is all one. I mean, we got to, we need the eyes. I tell me, you need the eyes. And you need everything working in order. And I'm talking to the sisters now. Sisters of God, ladies, friends, mothers, Let's get on one accord. Amen. We can do great things. Yeah. Like Mother Rivers always say, if women get together, we can do great exploits. She, she does, she, I don't really know about your snow, but she know about it now because she came up in. But 
She said, one little snowflake, you can stick your tongue out, and it feels good. But you let a lot of those get together. A lot of them get together. They can stop trains, they can stop playing, they can, you can't get out of your house. So just a little snowflake. We want to do great things this year for God. And if we get together with one mind, because God doesn't have no three or four bodies, and you don't have no three or four bodies. If something hurt on you, your whole body hurt. You get a toothache, you gotta go to just your tooth. If you start, if you get your finger in something. So let's love, ladies, let's love. Let's love. And, and, and if somebody, okay, young ladies, if you made a mistake, Get yourself up, dust yourself off. Failure, uh, 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 it doesn't mean you can't start all over again. Uh, if you go back and read the uh, an, uh, ancestors of Jesus, he had a uh, Rahab was in his ancestors. So I mean, pick yourself up and you're out of school, ladies. Go back and get your education. If you got a child, if you got a child. Treat that child really good. Don't tell, don't be mean to him. And get yourself together because you have a child in your life. It's over. Yeah. Don't let, don't just don't do it again. Just get up and go. And we got, we love you. But get yourself together. Don't don't stop. Don't let anything stop you. Everybody has made mistakes. Everybody has made. You might not have had a baby, but you made mistakes. Everybody has. So it don't mean because you're broken you don't have to be you don't have to be defeated. Because Jesus died for you. He can bring it, resurrect you again. So I thank God for you and, and let's just love each other. And and if you don't have a husband, just pray. Spend your time in prayer. You don't have to look for a man. You don't have to show everything to get a man. I think so many times I came up with this. And for that person, I got a side note here. I said I finished school in 1956. Somebody came to me and said, I'm smarter than you because I got out. Okay. Let me tell you the story of that right quick. This is a side note. I came up. I'm looking at you. I came up, um, and the school was so many miles away. So I did not start school. So the school didn't know about those schools until I was eight. But I had a lot of time to make up, and I finished second in my class. And um, so because it was too far for me to walk. But uh, we had, and children, let me tell you, you all are blessed. Amen. And if you have a mother and father children, don't wait till Mother's Day to tell your mother you love her. Amen. Tell her you love her every day. Every day. Some tell her every day you love her. And you know the way children, I'm talking to children now, the way you can really love your mother is to keep your room clean. Really, keep your room clean. Pick up your stuff. You can, if you want your mother to live, keep your room clean. And keep your room clean. I can't, anybody listen to me? But anyway, that was the reason. We came up, and, and you all have a, when you have a mother and a father, you're blessed. But if you don't, there's no reason for uh, excuse. Because your pastor grew up without a, a father. And, I, and I, by God's grace, I think he's one of the greatest preachers in the whole world. Give him a hand. You don't have to go to jail. You don't have to do any of this stuff Amen. just because you don't have a father. Amen. It's good if you do, but if you don't, you have to go on with your life. Don't say, oh, I, can't, I don't have this, I don't have that. And don't blame the world. If you don't have a husband, go on and stop looking for one. Because I know down south, everybody that have deep wanted a husband got married. They wanted to get married. They had the clothes on them. We went to the field looking like the little house on the prairie. They got there. Nothing was showing. All my sisters that wanted, one of them there to Deacon UL. So uh, you can get a husband.
without showing them everything, you know. So, so uh, I'm talking to the young ladies and the young mothers and cover it up. And, you know, cover it up. You know, you don't have you don't have to wear a dress this long. But then, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You don't have to wear one. But thank you, and the pastor has preached, and so we love you all. I'm not gonna go through all this, but <laughs> no, but I, what I would oh my God, this is so much. That's so much. But all I, I want to say, you're broken, but you're not defeated. Get yourself up, no matter what happens. I mean, I know what it is to be broken. I have no siblings. No siblings. They all gone. They all gone. And sometimes the devil, he works, he's on, he, the devil never sleeps. You know, the God never sleeps either, but the devil's up. And when you get a pain, he said, well, you know your sister has. I said, you know what? Devil, you better leave me alone. Amen. And I get up and start doing something. Amen. Because he tried to bring you stuff, you know. So I'm not going to sit and have no pity party because my relatives are gone. Amen. I, you know, and uh, <laughs> uh, it's when, I, when you lose a husband, it's okay to have a day. But you better not have a pity party, you end up crazy. Now, if you kill him, that's a different story. <laughs> Yourself in so much debt that the creditors are knocking on your door. I 
don't believe it in getting in debt. I'm not saying buying a home. But these credit cards, let me tell you something really. Women, I'm talking to the women. When you go and get a sale, and Macy's or one of your big stores have these good sales, if you don't pay it off the next month, you don't have a sale. Okay? You don't have a sale. So don't think that the credit cards of a new Jim Crow law, it's a new hang news for us. You know, it's to keep us down. That is to keep us down because most of them got enough money to pay for what they want. So if you need something, go back to the layaway plan when people used to put in layaway and pay on it. And so anyway, I, I, I thank you all for this time. I'm not going to take you past. I really enjoyed you this morning. I really enjoyed you, and I was telling you, go ahead. So I thank God for this opportunity, and I thank God for you, and I want you to be encouraged. Please, women, be encouraged. If you don't want whatever you have, be encouraged. Go on with your life. Go on. Whatever has happened, pick yourself up and go on. Please do that. And love each other. And don't have each other stew parties. You know, if you have a problem with uh, Mother Atkins, get it straight with Mother Atkins. Don't go home and call Mother somebody else and say, Sister Atkins make me sick. So, you know, tell Sister Atkins that she make you sick. You know what I mean? Let's this is a beautiful church, and it's a good church. You've got a good pastor. We need to get on board. And I know I'm, I'm not up here to talk about that, but let's just work together, all right? And I enjoyed you, Pastor Markham. I'm not going to go through all this, but I enjoyed you all. I thank God to be here on a Mother's Day. I thank God to be alive. I thank God for waking up this morning. Thank God for all of you that are here, and you just keep on keeping on. Thank God for.